Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we're taking a look at none other than the G22 Glock. Chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Spawns here in Home Pistol Machine Pistol G22 Full Auto Mod. G22. Yes, this is a fully automatic G22. Oh, we're going to have fun today. If you watched my uh, favorites pistols video you'll know that the g22 was my favorite in that category let's see what this will do today it spawns here with a g22 mag and a g22 high capacity mag the same mags that the g22 takes of course this is just the g22 in a full auto oh can't wait here we go let's look at the controls on the g22 full auto down on the trackpad we'll eject the magazine of course it will lock open on empty, and you can release the slide by going to the left and down on the trackpad, like so. You can lock the slide open by going to left and up on the trackpad. Hey, there you go. It does not have a, an external hammer, so there's no hammer cock or decock functionality, and there is no selector switch on this, uh, unlike the G18 uh, and G18C. It's only full auto all the time, so pressing up on the trackpad does nothing. Let's see what attachments will go on this sucker. Nothing on the top. Boo! Hey, bottom rail. Okay, bottom rail for a laser. Nice. Love that. Can you put a comp on it? Yes. Fantastic. How about a suppressor? Excellent. And a stock full package. Nice. Let's look at the sights. Oh, goody! Bright green dots. Ah, oh, I love bright green dots. Fantastic. Two on the rear, one on the front. Everything's good to go. Great sight picture. I do approve. Let's see if the rate of fire is low enough that I can get single shots off. Ooh. No. Almost. Almost not quite, so I'm not going to bother with the single shot uh, recoil test. It's going to be too erratic. But as you can see, if you can get that first shot in there, you know, that's an 8.5. So if you're really careful, yeah, you can get good results out of this. All right, because I can't get those semi-autos to be consistent. I get them on there. I just can't get them to be consistent. Let's just go to straight to full auto. It's what we care about anyway. Here we go. Ceiling shooter, yeah, zero. Let's throw our compensator on there. Let's see if we can tame this beast. Nope, still going up into the ceiling and coming back down. So another big zero there. Suppressor, maybe, eh, probably not. Nope, bad first shot, but they all went in the ceiling. So who cares? Stock, this is usually where things get good. Okay, things are getting good. Three. Well, three is not great, but it's on the paper. So at least we're, we're somewhere. Stock and comp. Ooh. Five. We're getting there. We're getting there. That's not bad. I love them to be in the seven ring. But man, that's not bad for Forty Smith and Wesson. Stock and suppressor. So weird. 4.13. 4.13. Good first shot. Group is not bad, but we're still in the 3 and 4 ring. So I guess that's just going to be what it's going to be. There you have it. The G22 Full Auto in 40 Smith & Wesson. My favorite semi-auto pistol in Full Auto. Is it better? No. Because you can't get good shots off, even with good Look at that. Yeah, you got to really pull it down. Ah, ah, even with all the goodies on it. Oh, oh well, what are you going to do? Till next time, I will see you.